So this is an example of how our shorts come out. They come out of a big machine and we end up, after they come out as these long tubes, we end up actually uh, marking them, not actually with thread, but this one's marked. And then we end up cutting and sewing in our gusset. All of our shorts are amazingly stretchy. They actually all stretch to about double their width. Oh my goodness. Right? Yeah. Which is pretty cool, but the more important thing to know is that not only do they stretch to double their width, but they won't bag or sag during the day. You can wear these as underwear or with underwear. It's really a personal preference. You know, they're not as sheer as people think. They're not quite like pantyhose, but they're sheer enough that if you didn't have any underwear underneath and you were worried about a Marilyn Monroe moment, <laughs> you might want to layer up with a pair of underwear. What do we not like about this garment? What did I not like about it? Thick elastic at the top that's already like bunching, that can fold over. Um, that's something that can only stretch. Ugh, I'm like struggling. It doesn't really stretch that much, right? And there's not really much care given to the type of thread or seaming inside. This is not a flat seam. The other option I was resorting to was wearing men's underwear, which is, you know, this is a classic, here's a nice Fruit of the Loom men's underwear. These to me, I can tell you right away without even looking at them that the inseam is probably, without even trying them on, the inseam is about four inches. That's gonna creep up and ride up. So I am wearing our originals, which is our original because of, it was our first seamless product that we made. It's super comfortable, it's breathable, it's moisture wicking like all of our shorties. Um, the inner thigh panel is, you can't see the back of me, but it's, it's actually stitched flat, so it's non-abrasive seams. And there's no front seams, there's no side seams, there's no back seam.